Hello everyone and welcome back to another video on the channel. Today we're here with the McLaren P1. Weirdly enough, I've not done a build on this, but I did own this car and I have no idea why. I don't know why I somehow managed to have this car in my garage. It was built fully, but I never actually made a video on it. If I've somehow made a video on this car and I could not find it on my channel, I looked it up, like properly looked this car up because people have suggested that I should do a P1 and I was like, I, I thought I'd made a video on the P1. I had it in my garage. It was fully tuned, maxed out, full race spec, 399, and there was no video on it, which is weird. Which makes me think I probably bought the car, I built it, then I wanted to make a video on it, and I just completely forgot about it because, I don't know, just time, I guess, and loads of other comments came in of other cars, and I think I might have just forgotten about it. Either way, this video is about how fast the McLaren P1 actually is. A lot of people... Actually, this is when it was. I remember now. I remember now, right? So this was, I'm pretty sure, at the time when people were telling me in the Let's Play that everybody went for the uh, for the Porsche 918 in their Let's Plays. And I did as well. I was like, you know what? I'm going to try to be... Uh, uh, since I'll do this. I'll, I'll do the, the Porsche 918 as well since I had... Or was it in the Let's Play that I had the McLaren? I don't know. Anyway, we're here with the McLaren P1. Uh, I have had this car in the past. I don't know if I've done a build on it yet. Either way, let's just do it again because I don't remember. Let's get started. I honestly feel like there shouldn't really be a lot of stuff for this car, but I'll try to change some stuff anyway. Uh, sure, we'll add little bits and pieces that would customize this at least a little bit uh, over the stock kit. Am I the only one that thinks this looks like a 650S now from the front just because of this? Or 675 even? I don't know. I like it, though. I, I much prefer this. This looks much, much nicer. So we'll put that on real quick here for the hood. Little vents, I guess. Where the vent... Or, yeah, they're like little vents where the vents are. Pretty much on the hood. I'll put... I'll choose these ones. These ones look a little bit cleaner. Uh, headlights. Don't really know if I want to change the headlights. To be, ooh, slightly darker, though. Definitely going to do that. We can change the fenders? Okay, okay, okay. I thought we could go wider fenders. I thought we could go wider fenders. But I guess not. We'll choose these ones. I like the little vented... Arches, I think they look pretty good. Um, the other McLarens have them as well. Or the other McLaren has it as well, because there's only one other McLaren in this game, I think, which is a 570. So, I'm perfectly fine with that. Uh, canards? Should I add? Yeah, sure. Actually, this looks pretty decent with canards. Since this is a race car, I do expect this thing to have all the little race bits all over it. Uh, but again, we could probably turn this thing into a GTR as well. We could probably turn this thing into a GTR. I kind of don't want to change the mirrors. The mirrors look really, really good. Yeah, the mirrors look really good. I don't want to change those. T Tail lights? Ew. Nasty. Definitely don't want to do that. <laughs> Rear bumper we could change. To what? What is that? Is that just full carbon? That is just full carbon. All right, let's just do that. That looks decent. Diffuser? Can we go? <laughs> yes, we can. We, we go with the... <laughs> um, we can't change any rear canards. Exhaust? We can have the twin pipes. Okay, yes. I do remember this. I remember this. The carbon fiber wrap. The, oh, it just looks good. Just a normal carbon fiber wrap. But this, though, plus with the wing that we're going to add onto this thing. <laughs> Welcome, <everybody. Ooh. laughs> Oh, my God. The wings for this thing are insane. I mean, this is kind of cool and all, but it's it's a little bit too small. I think we have to go with something nice and big. I do remember this, though. I do remember building this before. And it's just the sound system up there, which I'm not going to change. Rear fender. Let's just go ahead and pretty much do that. I think that's all we have customization-wise for this thing. There's nothing really else that we can change on it. This looks sick. I remember this car now. I've definitely built this thing before. I just don't, I don't think I've uploaded it on the channel. Look at this. I really don't want to change the wheels either. Like, the wheels have the McLaren logo in the middle. I mean, there's, there's a lot of different wheels that I could possibly choose for this thing, but I love these. And if I was to choose wheels, it, they'll probably be very, very similar to these. Which I kind of really don't want to change. This is probably, like, the only car that I probably won't change the wheels on. Um, I'll stick the tire text on it, though. Which is weird, because, I mean, this is a customization thing. Plus, so the wheels are all the same. I do know exactly what wheels, what wheels are in this game. And the only other wheels that I would probably choose for these is there's like a set of wet sport wheels that I'd probably choose and they're very, very similar to these. And I kind of prefer these just because they have the McLaren logo in the middle. I don't know. I think they just look better. So I'm going to keep these on. We're going to lower it since it's in race 
race mode. Not fully though. Maybe, maybe there. Yeah, that looks that looks decent. And then let's go ahead and try to see if we can find a uh, design for this thing. I'm gonna start deleting some some things. Oh, that looks so sick. Even a red, it looks really good. I know this is just the RX-7 design on it, but like, oh, look how off this looks. <laughs> look how off this looks. What about this? What does this design look like? <laughs> Oh, uh, this looks funny. For community, let's have a look, see what people have made. The grey looks so good. Like, it would have to be... Damn. I can't remember what design I've added this on now. I think this was on uh, on the Aston Martin, if I remember correctly. This is mad looking. And then obviously we have the P1 GTR design for this thing. Yeah. Which I'm probably not gonna do. The red though, oof, ooh, the red black. I mean, there's some some mad designs for this thing. This doesn't look too bad either. Again, P1 GTR design. Uh, I kind of like it. I kind of like this design. It just makes it look even more like the race car that it actually is. So I might just put it on. You know what? Let's do it. Let's put this on. I mean, all of them are pretty, pretty dark. What is this green? Oh, <laughs> that looks so good. That looks really, really good. There's so many nice colors for this thing. There's so many nice designs that we can actually change on this car. That looks mental. It just looks like full carbon. With a few accents all the way around. And this as well, what does this look like? There's some crazy, crazy designs for this thing. I'm not gonna lie. You know what? I might just choose something crazier like this. I might just do this one. You know what? Let's just go ahead. Uh, and I'll delete a wrap here real quick. It's kind of stupid that I ended up... I'm downloading two designs for this thing, but that looks... Like, legitimately looks good. What is it? It was this one, wasn't it? That looks sick. It just looks outrageous, and then the gold on the side with the reflection. That looks mental. Props to this dude in this design, dude. Props to this guy. Anyway, let's go ahead and drive this thing. I'll show you what it's like. Obviously, it has over 1,000 horsepower. Top speed of over 230 miles per hour. Uh, acceleration's pretty good. 1.8 seconds. It should be a decent car to drive. Um, I haven't actually driven this car yet, so I don't know exactly what it's going to drive. I probably have driven it a long time ago. But I don't remember now, so I guess this might be a decent car or a bad car. I don't even know, to be honest, what this is going to be like. So it's fast. I love that wing, though. That wing suits it quite a lot. Acceleration is pretty good, so it just moves off the line very, very quickly. Hamming is decent. I have really good control over it, so that's good. It does accelerate as quickly as Derriguer, not even close. I don't know what it's like compared to the 918 and stuff like that. You guys can probably make your comparisons once I finish off a lap of the hyperspace. Let's just go to it. Let's just go to the hyperspace and I'll have a look and see what this thing is actually like around this track. So we can compare times to the uh, to the other cars and you guys will be able to see what they're what they're like. It's an interesting car. It's an interesting car. I really like the way it looks. First of all, the P1 is probably the most outrageous, like, of the three hyper cars of the LaFerrari, the 918, and, and obviously this. This is probably the most outrageous looking. The best sounding one, and the most, like, I guess the, the, the one that you'd want to get would definitely be the LaFerrari. And then a the 918 would just be last, to be honest, out of, all, out of these three. Even though, even though it's probably the fastest car. Out of all of them around the track, like the 918, I'd still probably get one of these two before it, just because of the, the cars that they are. Like the P1 looks absolutely mental. Just the lights, everything. Just the whole shape of the car just makes it look insane compared to the other two hypercars. From the Holy Trinity. As fast as the 918 is, it just looks too tame. It looks too... 
too supercar-ish, in my opinion. It handles decently. Like, it's, it's not terrible. I think the 918 would absolutely smash this thing around the circuit, though. Again, yeah, I'll try to do it without sort of grinding off the wall unintentionally. It doesn't even go to over 200 miles per hour. And acceleration. I can take this car quite quickly. It does get to a point where I end up understeering out, as you'll be able to see. Yeah, so these turns. This last corner here. Kind of iffy. I can't take it at around 130, though. It can't land properly. That's probably because I lower the car a little bit too much, to be honest. And also, I may need some jump parts for this as well, because that'll definitely help. If someone doesn't break the drift, kind of cancel itself out there. So I can take that corner at high speed. Slow down to about 150. Yeah, it's... it's. I can't really take that last corner too quickly. Because it'll start grinding. It's not bad, I at least managed to lap some some people. So yeah, not oh, terrible there, but I don't think it's close to being one of the fastest ones. 149 by the looks of things. Is what we got with this thing. Again, not a terrible car. Uh, I feel like there's many faster cars than this thing. Um, but it is a P1, so I did think that this might be like up there in like power wise with uh, with some of the other cars so I thought you know what let's let's have a look and see what it's like so yeah this was the McLaren P1 if I haven't made a video on it yet uh, somehow I'm gonna have two videos on it because it's gonna be I, I honestly looked up on the channel and I could not find a single video like I looked up I searched I went on my channel I looked up my name I looked up McLaren P1 I looked for the tags and everything it just I couldn't find a video at all and I have a pretty decent sized library of videos now <laughs> especially with the builds and stuff like that and uh yeah I, I i just couldn't find it on my channel at all anyway this was a mclaren p1 thank you guys very much for watching hopefully you've enjoyed today's video if you want to see any more uh, videos of any videos of any videos like this on the channel don't forget to subscribe and also if you enjoyed this video don't forget to like it it's a nice clean little build and obviously i wanted to see how fast this car actually is because i honestly could not remember I was like, I think this was my Let's Play car. That's probably why I do remember owning it, and I just never made a video on it. So I'm pretty sure that's why. Because uh, one other car that I have not done a build yet on was the uh, Porsche Cayman GT4. And I know I've had that car before uh, because it was in the Let's Play. But I've never done a build on it, like a proper build video on it on the channel. So I may get to that as well. Anyway, thank you guys very much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed today's video, and I will see you guys next time. Goodbye.